Hi everyone, uh, Steel again. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you how to use our chest, our shoulders, and our back circuit training machine. So follow me back. You just came through the front door. As you walk through to the right, you'll notice that there's a door with a fan above it, and uh, there's some wipes that you can take, and you can always use the wipes. Uh, you can use the wipes to clean off machines. Go ahead and come on into the uh, circuit training machine. It, this is the circuit training machine room. In here, there's a number of different machines. I'm going to go ahead and show you in the series right now. I'm going to show you the uh, back machine, the pull down machine as we call it, the shoulder press machine, and I'm going to show you the chest press machine. And once you get familiar with those, I'm also going to show you a few others, but let's get you just started on those for right now. So let's call, let's, let's, uh, this is the matrix. This is the lap pull down machine. This machine is, as you can tell, where it's located. Um, these machines are pretty simple to use. The key is to look for the yellow buttons and knobs to give you an idea of what can be adjusted and what can be changed. So, for example, if you want to change the chair height on something, you would look for a yellow adjustment. So, for example, on this one, there is no yellow, but there is one right here, so that will adjust the knee. There is one right here that will adjust the chair. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the lat pull down, which works your back muscles. So when you sit down in the machine, what I recommend you do is you go ahead and you climb in the machine, you sit down and you make sure that your knees are comfortably underneath the, uh, the, the knee pads. If they are not, go ahead and reach forward, push the yellow button. Now when you do that, remember to adjust the tension by lifting your knees up, and that will release the tension from the button. So as you adjust your knee, it adjusts the tension, it releases the tension, so now it's clipped in. So now I feel it's snugly under my knees, I feel like I'm secure in there. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the weight down to as low as I can for the first session, and that, that's right here. Put it as low as I can so that I can learn the machine. My goal here is to learn the lat pull down machine. From here, I'm going to go ahead and stand up, I'm going to reach up and grab the handles on the machine. And this is, I'm going to do pull downs for my back muscles. So I'm going to go ahead and get my knees under. And that's how this movement works. Now you can talk to a trainer and they can give you ideas if this is, if you've got restrictions or if there's certain pain that you might have in certain areas, you can try different handles in different ways. But this is just to familiarize you with how to use it. Now when you let go of this, make sure that you hold on and you let go like that. You don't want to let go like that. So the best way to let go of the machine in this particular case is to finish your set, step up, and let go. And that's all. Don't forget to wipe down your machines when you're done uh, as a courtesy and also obviously wipe them down before you use them as well. Next machine I'm going to show you is the shoulder press machine. And actually, here's a good one. There's a uh, TV controller here. So this is the uh, adjusts some of the TVs. Um, and sometimes you, if you cannot find them, you can always talk to a manager up front. But the way that you adjust this machine is you look for the yellow, yellow knobs. And as you'll notice, this one has a seat adjustment. Does it have an adjustment back here? No, it does not. So the only adjustment is going to be right here. It's going to be for your shoulders. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit down on the machine and we're going to feel where the bar is on your shoulders, and this seems to be a little bit low for me. As you can tell, it's just a hair low. So I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna keep tension on my heels, I'm gonna push myself to the back, and I'm gonna go ahead and do almost a squat push, and I'm gonna adjust the seat, because there is a slight tension release as the spring pushes the seat back and up. So I adjusted it slightly higher up. Obviously that's wrong for me. I'm gonna adjust it slightly further down and it's clipped in, and all I did was pull that in and just adjust my weight on the chair accordingly. I went ahead and I put the lightest weight possibly in there, put my hands on. As you can tell, there's a number of ways you can address the hands, there, there, there. So, and from there you essentially will drive and do a shoulder press. And that is how you do the shoulder press machine. From there, make sure you wipe your machine down, get to know your machine, do 20 reps, um, and this way you get to learn the machines, and at the same time, watch how other people are using the machines, so you get familiar with some of the other machines. That was your shoulder machine. 
Over here to the left, this is your chest machine. And this is called the chest press. Chest press has a few more bells and whistles on it, not too complicated, but let's do the same thing with the seat. The seat right over here. We're gonna go ahead and put our heels down on the ground. We're gonna sit back on the seat and we're gonna push our body back up against and we're gonna adjust the seat accordingly to where the chest is in the right spot. So all you have to do is adjust your weight accordingly on the chair. It's very simple to use. It just sometimes will stick if you don't have the right amount of weight on there. From there, you'll go ahead and you'll be able to put, obviously start off with the lightest weight possible in this case, to learn the machine. And then from there, you can go ahead and you can push accordingly from here. If you go ahead and you push, pull this towards you, it's gonna release the tension ever so slightly, and you're gonna be able to get it slightly further away from your chest, and at the same time, you can also let it come back, pull that back, and adjust that as accordingly. There is an adjustment mechanism here to get it away from your chest, or to get it closer to your chest. So I'm gonna start with it slightly further away from my chest, and go ahead and push. And I would recommend you say 20 of those reps just to get familiar with these machines. Now the first time you come in, do a circuit. Do the uh, back, the shoulder, the chest, the back, the shoulder, the chest, the back, the shoulder, the chest. Try some of your cardio machines. And, um, uh, and I'll show you some other machines in the uh, next video. But let's go ahead and I'm going to show you real quick the, uh, the core zone. So over here next to the chest machine over to the right, in this room right here we have the core zone. And a lot of these machines are very similar. They're the same matrix type of machinery. And as you're looking down here, there's a lot of machinery. You can always speak to a manager, speak to a trainer, say, how do I use this machine? What do you recommend I do this? How would you recommend I do this for abs or core? So this is a really good way to get your core in shape, and we offer a lot of different machinery for that. So uh, the next video series, we'll be talking about uh, probably uh, legs.